the next guest, who is Tom Sosnoff, who is founder and CEO of Tastyworks. Hey, Tom, hey how are you? Hey, guys, how are you? Good. I'm um, glad you could be here today. Uh, so, so you've got a charts to kick off with, and I will go ahead and leave you to your presentation. Okay. Can you see my screen right now? I can indeed. Yep. Are you running it yourself? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Thanks. Right. Much appreciated. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for having me. And um, I was told today I am focusing 100% on crypto. So I'm going to have a little fun here with you. So Tasty Works, which is our brokerage platform, um, is one of only a, well, I think it actually, I think it could be the only platform, but um, maybe there's others, but one of the only platforms that supports virtually all products, meaning that we support futures, stocks, options, futures, options on futures, and also crypto. And there are not too many, you know, online brokerage platforms or brokerages in the U S that support all that. Why is that interesting? Because from a single account, um, on the front end, you can trade anything you want. You can trade any strategy, you can trade any combination of strategies, and um, you don't have to worry about passwords or um, digital wallets or transfers or anything that happens on the back end. We take care of it all. We execute and clear through a digi digital settlement company with digital assets called Zero Hash, of which we happen to be the largest shareholder of Zero Hash. So we kind of have a, a pretty large say in what happens with respect to what blockchains we write to. So right now in the Tasty world on Tastyworks, we have 13 different tokens. We will be adding five additional um, digital assets by the within the next couple of weeks. And then in October, we'll be adding Cardano. So um, uh, we're in the process of writing to that blockchain now. So if you are new to crypto or you're wondering, you know, like, hey, how come this brokerage firm only has, you know, so much has, only has four or five choices or how come they have 10 choices or how come Coinbase has, you know, 150 choices? Well, that's, you know, that's their that's their entire business. We offer virtually everything, like I said before, just to put it kind of clean into perspective. So if you want to trade futures, go ahead, and trade futures. If you want to trade um, Bitcoin, like the micro futures in Bitcoin, you can do that as well. Just as an example, on my watch list right here, these are the micro Bitcoin futures, the forward slash um, MBT. So if I wanted to buy, just trade a future in Bitcoin, I just click on the offer. And if I wanted to sell a future and go short, just click on the bid. In the world of crypto, in online brokerages in the cash markets, I'm put up, up for you on this on this page here. We only have a short short amount of time, but I put the four largest cryptos that we offer, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Polkadot. Those are probably the four most active on our platform with Ethereum, Ethereum being the most active. The cool thing about Tasty is we are open seven days a week, 24 hours a day for the cash crypto markets. We actually offer 12 coins and one um, physical token for gold, Pax Gold. So you can trade gold around the clock 24, 24 seven, and you can trade um, crypto the same thing, which is very nice. There's no other kind of product choices that you can do that with. Also on this platform, you can trade as little as a dollar and as, and from the upside as much as you want. And the cool thing about what we do is we cap the commissions on crypto at $10. So whether you're trading, if you're, um, if you're trading up to $1,000, it's just 1%. And over $1,000, there's a cap. So, so you pay no more. So whereas you might pay $50 or $100 to buy or $500 to buy a full coin on Coinbase or Robinhood, on Taste, you pay $10. So we have the lowest crypto commissions in the world right now with a cap of $10. Nobody has anything like this. And so, and the cool thing is lowest commissions, you can trade anything you want and you can trade a combination of cash crypto, like I have set up here on this screen, or the crypto, or the futures themselves. So just to give you a little example, and I'll show you how easy this is, um, just to go from one, potentially from you know one source to another. If I wanted to go up here and I just wanted to trade, let's say a micro future in Bitcoin, just I just click on the offer to buy, I click on the bid to sell. Now you can't short in the cash market, you can't short crypto. So if you wanna short it, you have to use the futures. But if you wanna buy it, 
you can use the futures or the cash. So this is one tenth the size. So figure right now it's about $47,400 in that range. I can adjust my price up or down if I want. And if I want to just click there, I'm filled in less than 25 microseconds. Take a fill and I bought, um, that's that trade at the CME. And I bought one micro future. If I wanted to sell it back out. And, and again, I'm only showing you this just to show you how fast the platform is because Tasty is built on high frequency technology and nothing else in the world is. And then if you go down, um, if you go down, oops, I'm sorry, wrong, wrong slide. Um, and I wanted to trade crypto in the cash markets, I could just come over to this page. And for example, you know, depending on which crypto I want to buy, if I wanted to buy Bitcoin, I just choose buy. And I have $500 set in here. You can set it to $1. You can set it to $100. You can set it to $5,000. You can set it to, you know, $50,000. doesn't make any difference. Or you can do it by the coin. But I set it to $500. And you just double click, filled. And I bought $500 in the cash market. And again, this has the cap of, of um, $10. But that would have cost me $5 in commissions total. And that's it. There's no other fees. There's no transfer fees. There's no gas fees. There's no moving it to a different blockchain. Everything is everything is consolidated and all the money transfers and everything happen on the back end. You as a customer, this is the simplest way. And the reason I did the future first was to show you how easy it is from the same layout to go from a futures trade to a cash market trade. So let's say I want to trade Ethereum. Um, I wanted to buy $500 worth of Ethereum. Double click, filled. Let's say, and this is, and there's, and to the, to, to the naked eye, you have no idea that this order is being routed to a market maker somewhere else in the world. And the, for example, the futures markets being routed to the futures exchange here in Chicago. One's a listed exchange, one's a non-listed exchange. All that stuff takes place on the back end and there's no trust factors because you're able to route it through us. So you're not having to keep your money at some crypto exchange that you've never heard of before. Let's say you wanted to go and, and move it down just as an example to, you know, I wanted to buy some Litecoin, same exact thing. Or, oops, or if I wanted to buy some Polkadot, same thing. So in the matter of just a couple seconds, I bought and sold some um, crypto futures, the micro future from the CME. We could do the big future too, but the big future is five coins and five coins times $50,000 is a quarter million dollars just to make that trade. If you want to do it using the micro futures, it's only, you know, the, the one tenth the size. So it's only $4,700. So it's a little more reasonable size wise, or you can go down as little as, like I said, a dollar, but in a short period of time here, and I also have a working order up here. And just to show how easy this is, if I wanted to replace the order or just cancel the order, boom, it's gone. And that's the slick thing about the Tastyworks platform. And there's no other piece of technology in the world like this that's built on high frequency middleware. So there's no lag time and you compete directly with the high frequency firms that are doing the market making. The platform on the front end, it's one simple platform. And on the back end, it goes to multiple places, exchanges and everywhere else. And then all your money gets moved for you on the back end and you don't have to do anything. You just trade them up. Um, unfortunately, right now, there's no options on the cash markets in crypto. Hopefully that's coming soon, but there are no options in the cash markets. And the cash markets, like I said earlier, all you can do is buy crypto. The advantages of using the cash markets are that they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The advantages of the cash markets are that um, there's, there is no leverage and no trust issues. Um, the advantages of the cash markets are that you can trade as little as a dollar. And, and that's, that's essentially, those are the takeaways. The advantages of the futures markets are that they are leveraged by about, let's call it, you have to put up about 60%. So there's about 40% leverage in there, which is the smaller than most futures, but it's still decent and you don't have to put up all the cash. So the, the futures markets are a bigger contract. They have a smaller commission. And they are a little, they have a slightly higher leverage. And that's, and that's the advantage of the futures contract. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. You can short them and you can trade the futures contract in an IRA account. So the cash, 
crypto, you can't trade an IRA account yet, not with us and not with any other brokerage firm, but you can trade the futures in crypto in an IRA account. So that's just something nice to know. And the really the nice thing about this too is I've been kind of simplifying it by just using the futures markets. But if you wanted to go to an individual equity that is some kind of, that's highly correlated to the crypto markets, you can do that as well. So for example, if I wanted to just type in an underlying that that's like a synthetic crypto play, like let's say, for example, you wanted to trade Coinbase. So in this platform, you just click, you type in coin at the top and here you have an option layout for Coinbase. This will move almost tick for tick. You know, it's very highly correlated with the crypto markets, Coinbase. If you wanted another underlying that's highly correlated with crypto, you could go to something like Riot. And so on this platform, and this is, again, what makes Tasty so special. You can trade Riot. You can trade options on Riot. You can trade the futures on the micro Bitcoin. Or you can go right up here and go to the crypto cash markets. And it's all from the exact same interface. It's all, all the mechanics, all the tools, all the features. They, they look virtually the same. And so we don't care what product you trade. We don't care how much or how little you trade. We don't care what strategy you use. And we don't care how you how you integrate or how you commingle all of those different underlyings. Makes no difference to us. So in other words, if you wanted to sell um, like some notional amount of Riot, let's just say, for example, it's a, a $37 stock. So you wanted to go out and sell 1,000 shares, just 1,000 shares of stock and create $37,000 worth of 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 right you can go out then and buy you know 10 uh, 10 10 micro bitcoin futures against it it's almost a perfect hedge or you can buy thirty seven thousand dollars in cash if you wanted to use options and riot this is the only platform in the world that lets you do all that stuff you can't do it on coinbase you can't do it on Robinhood, and you can't do it on any of the global exchanges that's what's fascinating and and again i don't know how deep everybody wants to get into today with respect to cryptos but we are being very aggressive with adding all new crypto functionality as it comes and we also offer the we will be offering the new small exchange crypto products that are coming out hopefully within the next month or so and one of the few brokerage platforms that have that some of you will ask like you know do you have an eta on cordano and the answer is no we don't but we are writing to that and if you you can Google and just watch an interview I just did with the founder of Cardano, and that is up on YouTube. And I think we did it about two weeks ago, um, just talking about, um, you know, the future of the future of different blockchains and the future of digital assets. If you are a digital asset buff as well, and you wanted to see some research on digital assets, we have an extensive amount of think tank like research. So we've researched digital asset correlations. We, and it's all free in our archives on tastytrade.com. So if you want to go visit tastytrade, you can read all about um, digital correlations. You can read about how digital assets impact portfolios. You can read about, um, um, you can read about how volatility in digital assets is so much different than volatility in, let's say, equities. Just as a little sidelight, for the most part, most crypto assets are highly correlated and most crypto assets have about four times the implied volatility of the s p 500. so when you're thinking about things in terms of risk you only have to do about one quarter the size in the crypto assets to have the same expected move or the same kind of expected potential prop profit potential um, when you're using digital assets and that was that's what really makes them attractive they have four times the implied volatility of of stocks all right i'm going to take you back on a little bit of a um a mission here to show you some some other things that are that are kind of you know neat about this can you enter orders based on price the answer is yes can you enter orders um can you see your working orders in here when you're doing it and the answer is yes do we have other charting platforms in here that you can also see crypto on Yes, we have a charting platform here. You can see crypto. We also have something called Tasty Charts where you can see multiple cryptos if you want to. All right. And you can also set this up with the underlying stocks that you want to see. We have um, 
in our trade page, although I, like I said before, we don't offer options on crypto yet because they don't exist in America um, or in the US markets, they haven't been approved by the regulators. We do allow you, if you want to, I'm gonna show you something really fast here. I'm gonna go over to Riot. I am going to potentially open up something like options in, um, these are options in Riot. This line here is where the stock is currently trading. Let's take a few smaller number of underlines to look at. And let's just say, for example, you wanted to go out, and I'm just giving a little bit of example. You wanted to get long, a little bit long crypto. Now you see riots unchanged today because crypto is basically unchanged. Um, and let's say you want to go out or something and create a little bit of a long position here. So stocks trading for um, 37. I'm going to go out and sell the 35 puts, which are just out of the money. And if I wanted to come in here and sell like a $4 put with a, uh, with a, let's call it a 35 or so Delta. So it's the equivalent of 35 shares of stock on this platform. I can do it. I'm just going to raise the price a little bit and offer the puts. And if I get filled on this five lot of puts, which I'm working here, I'll go over to the cash markets and do something about it and just kind of show you how that works. When you think about this, if you're thinking about, and I'm giving you just a quick little lesson here, but this is a, let's say a $37 stock. And if you sell a five lot of 35 puts out of the money puts, and you're thinking about that notionally, it's kind of the equivalent of, let's call it about $17,500 worth of notional stock. And if I got filled on that, I can easily go out and then this would be a short premium play. Let me lower the prices so I get filled to show you how I would do this. It's a little bit of what we call kind of like trade arbitrage. Okay. So I moved to the nickel. I got filled on a five lot of puts in Riot, right? And then that's the equivalent right now of let's just say $17,500. And if I wanted to, I can go out to, to the micro Bitcoin here and I can divide this number that's 17,500 by this is about 40, just under 48,000, just under $4,800. So I can multiply this number by three contracts and I'll come up with just about $15,000 worth of notional. So I'll go one, two, three, and I'll lower the price here. Let's just see. I'll lower the price just one more tick. There you go. And let's see if we get filled. And if I'm, right now I'm working this, and if I get filled, it's a completely neutral short premium position. And it's a way as a workaround to have a short premium position on to collect. It's kind of like, think of it like a little bit of a covered right um, to do it in crypto and something that you can't do on virtually any other platform. There, I got to fill. So now I have on a covered right in crypto using crypto futures and using a stock that is highly correlated about 75% to the crypto marketplace. And again, that's really neat because you can't do that anywhere else. You know, like I said, there, if you went to Coinbase, you could not do that. If you went to FTX, you could not do that. If you went to Robinhood, you could not do that. But what we just did was a really unique trade. We sold puts in Riot, high implied volatility. So we're collecting that premium. And then we bought the futures against it to offset almost all the notional risk whatsoever. And then we come back to the cash markets and take a look here. We could have done it in cash as well. But again, I'm gonna show you some things in the cash markets, which I um, uh, which I showed a little bit before, but it may have been maybe heavy at the time. So if I wanted to go out right now and buy Bitcoin, same thing, 47,300 and change, um, $500 worth, just click on it, take a fill. If I wanted to turn around, and sell that just to show you how simple this is. There you go. Boom, boom. And this is open all the time. We just never shut down. Very, very simple interface. You don't have to do anything. You can set these to default to whatever your, what number you're comfortable with. And you can just um, uh, come to this page and whenever you want to make a trade, just a simple click. So again, there's no shorting yet in the cash markets, but you can short using the futures and you can short using the options. So we give you all of those opportunities. And if you wanted to do the futures and sell the options against it in an IRA account, either puts or calls, 
we let you do that as well. So even though they don't match up and they're two different underlyings, we let you put those positions on naked in an IRA account. So regardless of your account type, you can trade any of these products. And regardless of the amount of money that you have, you can trade any of these products as long as you have the capital available to make the trade. So we don't limit you by the strategy you select, and we don't limit you by the amount of money that you have. So everybody that opens account with us can trade all of these products and, and all of those strategies and all of them in an IRA account and all of them in an individual margin account. There's no other offering like this. And we're the only place again with capped commissions. So you get all the advantages of knowing that, you know, knowing that your rates are the lowest rates in the industry and you have the greatest product selection and the greatest strategy selection. That's why the Tastyworks platform is the top rated platform in America. And that's why the Tastyworks platform also, because it's the newest technology, is the fastest platform in the US and also the most stable. So you get all of those things right at your fingertips. And, and um, the one last thing that's super nice is when you open an account with us right now, we have a crypto promotion going on. Um, and if you deposit $2,000 when you open the account, you get your choice of $200 of whatever crypto you want. So you get a 10% return when you just open an account. I mean, we give that if you wanted stock, you can have stock instead. It doesn't, you know, we're, we're indifferent to what we give out. But, but if you open an account for over $2,000, a regular margin account, you get a $200 crypto gift and you can pick the crypto that you want. If you open an account with $200 just to trade crypto, you get $50. And that's our kind of a special offering since we launched crypto a couple of months ago. If you look around the rest of the industry, you'll find in very short order, none of these features exist anywhere. If you have an account at Fidelity, they don't have any of this. If you have an account at TD and you're trading on TOS, they don't have any of this. If, you're, if you have an account at Schwab, they have none of this. If you have an account at Interactive Brokers, they have none of this. Okay. If you have an account at E-Trade, they have none of this. If you have an account at Robinhood, um, they offer crypto, but they don't offer futures and they don't offer any of those option strategies. If you have an account at Webull, they offer crypto, but they don't have futures and they don't have any of those option strategies. So we are the only platform with the complete offering and with technology that's, you know, this good on a fully integrated, um, pure Java platform that is completely free. Okay. So I know I have a couple of seconds. I was supposed to leave five minutes to answer some questions and um, I'm not exactly sure. So let me give you a couple of seconds. Oh yeah, you know what? If you have any questions, just to make this simple, you can email me. I'm Tom at, taste, I'm Tom at tastytrade.com. Just Tom at tastytrade.com. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about crypto or if I can't answer them, I'll send you over to the right people. We do have crypto experts you know, on our, on our team. So if you have any questions about new things that we're offering or that we're, you know, that we will be offering, um, like for example, what cryptos are coming on board, happy to, happy to give you that list and other things like that. Or if you have any other questions about crypto, we currently yeah. don't support crypto in an IRA account, but that's coming very soon. Sure. Go Tom, ahead. Tom, seems like we're getting a couple of questions here about availability outside the U S and Canada and elsewhere. Um, Canada, we don't support yet, but we're in the process of getting licensed. In the U.S., we are licensed everywhere but Hawaii. What about, I don't know, the U.K., or, um, for example? No. No, right now no. we are okay. not. Right now we are um, U.S.-based only, and for moving money around, it's um, uh, we don't think there's going to be any problems in the U.K., but we're in the process of going through the regulatory, you know, the regulatory process right now. Okay. So biggest takeaway, because we've gotten several questions about UK, Canada, international. So just well, US. Canada, for... Canada, is, Canada is a much bigger challenge because we have to go through the whole regulatory process there. Right. So we are about, we are two years into our Canadian um, regulatory process. That's how long it's taken. Um, we're hoping to be up and running by the end of this year and crypto will be included in the offering. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, seriously, any questions for Tom? It's very rare. I think, I mean, Tom does a lot of stuff on the tasty trade network and, but it's, it's rare to get this kind of access to him. He's, I mean, his email is literally on the screen right there. Right. Um, 
So now it's your chance to drop a question uh, for Tom. Yeah, you can ask. Listen, you can ask me anything. I'm fine. I don't. I, nothing's off limits. So, so I got like two or three minutes left here. You know, nothing off limits. Ask me whatever you want. You know, I mean, crypto's been a big part. I'm a very. Um, I've been studying crypto. I'm a fan of digital assets. I believe tokenization is is here to stay. Um, we are definitely making it a big part of our future. And um, you know, whether you want to call it. Um, However you want to define this. I don't really like to use them as cryptocurrencies. I like to think of them as digital assets, but I don't yeah. care how you define it. We're all in. Let, let me ask you this, Tom. Uh, of all the functionality features, crypt, cryptos or dig, digital assets, whatever, what, what is your favorite I, asset to trade, feature to use on the platform, whatever? I probably trade more polka dot and Ethereum than anything else. Okay. I'm sure I would trade. I'm sure I'll trade a lot of Cardano. Um, when it comes to the futures, I definitely use Bitcoin. You know, it's the only one you really can use. And um, so I guess if you were talking about the top three for me, it's on our platform. It's Bitcoin, Ethereum and and polka dot. Um, our customers trade more Ether than anything else. I think that customers will trade a lot of Cardano when, when that eventually comes up. I think those 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 are the top three or four. And they're also the top three or four as far as market cap goes anyway. Uh, oh, here's a question from uh, Sasha. I guess I didn't realize this. Uh, Sasha wants to know if you uh, will have hotkeys avail uh, functionality available soon. I didn't realize that. It's not didn't. part of our short-term game plan, Sasha. So okay. um, we probably won't, but we do offer crypto now on all our mobile devices. And we do have a brand new iPad coming out and a brand new, and another mobile platform about to release. So we have crypto on everything, but we won't have hotkeys on our software. I'm guessing that's not in the short. We don't get that many requests for hotkeys. This is from John Moore, um, right? Yes. Uh, no, no, it's from John. Uh, how much money do you need to have a, um, a margin account? It's, it's set by the regulators. It's $2,000. It's set by the SEC and FINRA. Margin um, accounts in the U.S. are two thousand dollars. Yep, I'm going through. We we got Kevin. A few people in the chat answer questions. Uh, John sure. Moore se seconds the request for hotkeys, so that's two. <laughs> there you go. That's two. I like it. <laughs> two, two more than usual. Um, so y you went through a couple of the favorite, uh, your favorite things to trade. Um, sure. I, what 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 though do you see as as like in terms of your your clients and, and your users are like the most the, the most used features. Maybe not too, not most trade securities or assets, whatever, but like the most used functionalities within Tastyworks. Well, I mean, if we're talking just about crypto, yeah, um, there's not a lot of you know. Remember, you can't short it. There's no options, so there's not a lot of like you know integrated functionality other than buying or selling. There's not much you can do, um, and so so crypto is very basic right now unless you get into individual stocks like for example coinbase riot mara block um robin hood you know those are all stocks that we think are kind of like very crypto centric so those you have a lot more options on because there's you know they have derivatives there's different strategies you can use things like that in the futures world right now and in the cash world you are very limited to what we call static or directional plays in crypto and so outside of a pure directional play, there's not that much in the crypto world right now. In the U.S., there's more around the rest of the world. But in the U.S., we 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 have a different regulatory system than everywhere else. Uh, any plans on adding Decred? Um, I, I would have to check. I don't know. Okay. Here's one that uh, I, I think may stump you. I, I don't know if you can answer this. Um, they're asking if crypto is going to be added to the Doe platform. The answer is yes, it is. Oh. Yep. Did not stop it, him. No, no, it's okay. being added to the Doe platform, and Doe's being added to the Tasty world. So, okay. so Doe will be available through Tasty starting in about in about four to six weeks, and it will have crypto on it. All right, guys, Tom Salznoff. Uh, if you don't know him, uh, I find that hard to believe. Frankly, um, he uh, he's everywhere in this space. Uh, has been in this game uh, a very long time. Done a lot of things. He's the co-founder and CEO, uh, or the founder and the co-CEO, excuse me, of Tasty Works. And um, always great to hear from you, Tom. Thanks a lot for spending time with us today. Hey, thanks for having me, everybody. Good luck out there. Thanks.